<coughs> I really like your hair. Did I play that down enough? I think I played that down enough. So Raquel, I am I'm cooking, um, which uh, is, is interesting. Something you probably don't know about me, uh, Raquel, is I can't actually really cook. I do something similar to cooking. Um, it involves heating food and it and it changing and being slightly more edible. But it can't really be classed as, as cooking. It's, it's more like I'm editing food. So I'm doing a bit of colour correction and adding music. What? I know you can't help me choose, but uh, you know, just play along. Uh, shall I have burgers? Pizza or sausages is my main source of thing. You have yeah three seconds to uh, your time's up. I am gonna choose the choice annoys me sometimes. Um, I, uh, I I I find it very difficult to choose when there's lots of very good options um, for the same thing uh, like my food. So I'm just gonna walk around the kitchen until until I work it out what it's what it's gonna be. It's, it's not really the sort of a decision that I have to make. Um, it's just sort of like a puzzle. The, the video game. The video game. Will what should Will eat for dinner? The video game. I'm gonna interrupt myself because I've decided that I'm gonna have the sausages. And by sausages, I of course mean burgers. That was a plot twist, wasn't it? Right then, welcome to the cooking show with Will's Odyssey, which is not going to be a thing that I ever do ever again because it's not going to go very well. There's my pan. Um, you can tell it's a pan because of how pan-like it is. Um, I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil because I'm a complete ponce um, and it's got one of these funny what's it's on it. Ooh, oh, 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 let's pour some oil, shall we? Oh, 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 too much, too much, that's probably too much. Alright, we put the pan on the hob, we put the oil in the pan, and we put the pan onto five point, which apparently is slightly higher than five. Some burgers, bash them in, bong them out, and lovely jubbly, or something. Fun story about me being a ponce, actually, or most of the best stories seem to be about me being a ponce. Um, I was in the, the loungy area at work, which is where everyone goes and lounges um, when we're having our scheduled breaks. Scheduled breaks are the best type of breaks because they're, they're so well organised. It's really weird in there because because I work as a, as a in, in the call centre for customer services, everyone's constantly talking the whole time. We're always on the phone. So when we're on breaks, we tend to just sort of sit in silence. Um, and I've, I've been rereading Great Gatsby, not only because of um, John Green, that, that was sort of one of the things, but uh, I just really, really wanted to to reread The Great Gatsby. And I've actually got a leather bound copy of Great Gatsby because my sister got it for me uh, a few years ago. It's one of like, the Penguin best books ever written or something. And they, they, they put it in, in leather. So being a massive ponce, I took it to work and uh, and someone was like, well, what's that book you're reading? And I was like, well, it's, it's leather. And they then started asking me about what Great Gatsby is about. And, you know, it's incredibly difficult to make Grey Gatsby sound exciting or interesting in any way whatsoever. Because essentially, there's a guy who's in love with a girl, and he has parties in the big house, and there's lots and lots of awkwardness. So, in sort of like, you know, like a, like a, a, a creative creative atmosphere, like YouTube, you know, it, it's, it's obviously not, YouTube isn't a place, but if it was a place, it would have an atmosphere of pure creativity, like solid create get gaseous creativity. You always hear people complaining that they don't have enough enough ideas. I find it more of a problem to have too many ideas. And in just in general life, like Raquel, you just moved out. Try not to give yourself too much choice, too many ideas of what you want to do. Because if you're always thinking of something new, then you're never actually going to do what you need to do. That moral is probably as pretentious as me reading a little about Great Gatsby at work. Ponzi burgers!